Hey guys, welcome to another video. You guys have been asking for this one for a little while and I'm finally getting around to making it, but we are gonna be talking about this Ford F-250 Super Duty 7.3 liter Godzilla gas motor and how does it tow? I to tow two main things and we're gonna talk all about that and uh, share my information about it. So stick around, check it out. All right, guys, so we are talking 7.3 liter Godzilla, how's it tow? And more specifically, how's it tow with the 5,000 pound uh, boat and trailer or my 36 foot fifth wheel RV? And we're going to go over both those. But first, we need to talk about what exactly I have here. This is an F-250 Super Duty uh, 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. 7.3 liter Godzilla XLT package with a 10 speed transmission and 3.55 gears. Well, why did I get this particular truck? Well, honestly, I would have liked probably lower gears and uh, maybe a few other different things, but or maybe like an F350. But when I bought this thing in early 2023, it was slim pickings. It was hard to find anything that was, you know not in the above like eighty thousand dollar range like the diesels and the F f-350s and uh a lot of the f-250s even just like you know just the they jacked them up so high but not just the markups but you know the the different packages and everything i didn't want anything too fancy we're just bought this thing for hauling and towing you know it's not i don't need leather or any of that mess I just need something that's going to tow what we needed to. And I was looking at the numbers and our, when we first started looking into buying a, a Super Duty, we were initially going to get a travel trailer, which was probably in the range of about 10,000 pound travel trailer. And this was more than enough to cover our needs for that. And then eventually, after we bought the truck, uh, you know, we decided to get a fifth wheel and that kind of changed things up a little bit because, you know, the fifth wheel it eats up the payload capacity pretty fast. And so we have a little over 3,000 pound payload capacity and our trailer has about a 2,000 pound tongue weight, give or take a little bit. So, uh, you know, it doesn't leave a whole lot left for um, us and gear and the, you know, the hitches and stuff like that, which I have a whole nother video about, which uh, I'll link in the description area below about like, you know, uh, gross vehicle weight ratings, payload, all that jazz. And uh, it'll help people understand those numbers a little bit better and how that affects um, your decision making. But we're not gonna really go over that. We're gonna go over, you know, this truck that we have here and how has it been towing? Well, we'll first, we'll start out with the boat. It's about a 5,000 pound boat. I already did a, a video about the miles per gallon towing it. But like in that other video, I was saying, you hardly feel this thing when you're towing the boat. It's only like a little under 21 foot center console, weighs about 5,000 pounds. And like, honestly, I think the truck rides a little nicer when it has that, that kind of load on it. Like the transmission shifts smoother, the accelerations, everything that it just, I feel like it's, it, it feels like the truck's built to tow. And this is the 7.3 liter Godzilla, not a freaking diesel. And, but it's what is getting the job done and we've loved it so far. And then we got the RV. So, and that's what I think everybody really wants to know about. It's almost somewhere between 11,000 and 12,000 pounds. I haven't weighed it yet. We do have plans on taking another trip here soon and where you should pass by a cat scale. And I'm gonna put that thing on a scale and see how much we weigh. But like I said before, I had that old video about how uh, we're within the numbers. We should be anyway. I don't know exact for sure because we haven't weighed it. But according to everything I've, you know, looked up, we're within all the numbers, but we're towing a 36-foot Keystone Cougar 315 RLS. So far, this thing has not, I don't feel like it's ever been underpowered. I don't feel like it's ever, like, like the trailer is steering me. I feel in control of the trailer when we're driving it, you know, but I haven't been in heavy winds and... Uh, like I haven't been in the mountains or elevation or anything like that because we're mostly towing in Florida, which is flat and low elevation. Uh, but so far, it's been doing a pretty good job. Uh, 
could the 430 gears be a little bit better? Yeah, um, if you look at the numbers, according to the Ford website, it, it doesn't add too much to the towing capacity or ability, just a little bit. And with this 10-speed automatic transmission, you have so many gears, especially a really low first gear. The first two gears are pretty low, which I think accounts for me not feeling like it's underwhelmed going off the, off the start. Like uh, when I'm going down the road or like I'm going to stop light and I need to get up with traffic or whatever, it doesn't seem to be hurting for power. It hardly ever revs over 4,000 RPMs. Even if we're going like up a hill over a bridge or something like that, it'll kick down a few gears, but it is getting the job done. I will say it does, you know, it does, it does eat gas. Well, it's a big freaking motor and it's gasoline, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn through some fuel. Um, I haven't done any tests on that yet. I plan to, next time we do this uh, uh, little trip, I'm going to do a uh, miles per gallon test to tow in the fifth wheel. If you guys want to stick around and see that, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy mess, because uh, we do trucks, travel, towing, RV life, uh, stuff like that. So, you know, follow along. Anyway, but as far as towing goes, the fifth wheel does, you know, make the truck squat a little bit. That's what the suspension is there for. Um, you know, people can put on some Timberins or whatever, or, or airbags, but then that's going to take away from the airbags, you know, going to take away from your payload capacity. Timberins are going to, you know, basically bottom out your truck when you still have suspension left in it. And so then whenever you hit a bump, the kinetic energy is going to go through your truck into the trailer. And I don't want that. I want the truck to suspension to take as much as it can before, because I don't want to screw it up the trailer because we're living in that thing now. Anyway, this is not hating on, you know, Timberins or the Sumo Springs or anything like that. But that's why I'd rather deal with a little bit of squat and uh, have less stuff break. Because there's give it the suspension. And not letting it bottom out and send that kinetic energy into the trailer. But other than that, uh, a little bit of squat, it is pulling great. And as, let's, or let's talk about stopping, you know, with the... Uh, uh, the bow trailer and everything, those brakes haven't worked in, you know, probably a year, year and a half after I, I got that thing, uh, the brakes stopped working. And this thing, you don't even feel it back there when you when you go to stop. But, and the uh, RV, the same thing. Like, the RV's got brakes, but they work. It does not hurt for stopping power at all. From what I understand, most of the F-350s and F-250s are very similar with the brakes. I'm pretty sure if you look up the, the parts, and uh, the Ford website, there are the similar parts. I think uh, somebody had said, made a suggestion that uh, booster on the F-350 and F-250 is a little bit different, but I had other people arguing. But from what I understand, if you look up the part numbers for like the, the, the brake pads, the rotors, everything, they're all the same. So this thing, it does not hurt for stopping power. It, uh, it gets the job done. Honestly, I think... This thing has been fantastic as far as pulling that trailer. <clears throat> like I said, I'll, I'll keep reviewing and updating as we go. Uh, but so far, so good. The 7.3 liter, 475 uh, foot-pounds of torque, 430 horsepower has been doing rather well and taking care of business. I haven't had any issues with it so far. It's just towing like a dream, honestly. A uh, lot better than I thought it would. Like, like, granted, yeah, you can feel that 12,000 pounds behind you when you're towing, but it's not like it's hurting for power. When you need it to get up and go, it'll it'll get up and move. Um, I haven't, like, done any steep grades yet or anything like that because, like, like I said, we're in Florida, and that's just, you know, we're this is where we're at. Um, I don't live in the mountains. Uh, I don't live in high elevation. So this 7.3 liter is getting it done. And uh, if we want to talk about why I probably chose the F-250 7.3 liter over like an F-350 diesel, yeah, maybe that might be in my future, um, especially if we plan on doing some long distance traveling. But so far, we're, we're, we're years away from, from doing any like cross-country stuff. Uh, we're mostly going to stay local in the state, uh, maybe hop, hop around maybe a couple of close states, but we're not going too far because we're, we're not full retired yet, but that's coming soon and we're going to get up on the road and hopefully we eventually want to make it to Alaska. And who knows, we might take this 7.3 liter to Alaska. You know, time will tell. 
but it so far we're having a, a great time in it. It's it's doing its job. It doesn't gas. It's a big gas motor with lots of power. So it, you know, it is what it is. But uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any specific questions about the towing and stuff like that, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Other than miles per gallon, because that's going to be another video. We will do that uh, towing the you know twelve thousand pound trailer. So uh, this thing has more than enough power to tow tow that trailer. It, it does just fine. If anybody has any other questions, like I said, leave them down below or suggestions or stuff like that. But so far, so good. F-250, 7.3 liter Godzilla, 12,000 pound trailer, knocking it out of the park. Thanks for coming along and uh, hope you found something useful out of this. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye.